Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 4. So in the last episode we defeated Kellogg, and in this one we are going to go see Piper. Who I assume is still here. Oh, there you go, for the appearances. Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? What's the story, Morning Glory? Uh... Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day... There's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Kellogg? What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. <laughs> Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick! Gross! Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to... Get it jump started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, but I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. Um, anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're gonna try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. Yeah, I think I'll go with Nick. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While well, you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Okie dokie, tuts. Uh, dangerous minds. Need anything, 
Ah, I need to go nearby now. I remember this being such a bitch when I first played. Like in the first like playthrough I did, like walkthrough. Oh. Why do baby? Why do baby? All right, I'll wait here for a bit. But thirty knows. Just enough so there's daylight when I go through the uh, city. Because good neighbor, if I remember correctly, isn't too far from Diamond City. I'll check the map now, but it's not too far from Diamond City. Excuse me, but I'm very busy right now. Excuse me, but I'm uh, very busy right now. Ah, I leveled up. Of course, I did. I just leveled. It was just now. What am I doing? Uh. uh well. Oh, I have to be level 13. Well, that sucks. Uh, to defeat your enemy is no other weakness. Scrounger? Sure, I'll go for that one. I'm coming handy. There is a perk for energy weapons, isn't there? I'll have to take a look for that next time I level up. Right, so there's good neighbour. Ah, I guess I wasn't too far. Park Street Station. University Point. Okay. Covenant and Museum of Witchcraft. Okay, so I'll fast travel to there. Yeah, the f if I remember correctly as well, the Freedom Trail is somewhere around here too. So the railroad and all that is around this area of the map. I just think they'd make a better gun, wouldn't you? After all these years, they wouldn't keep using laser muskets. It's got a crank on it, for God's sakes. I mean, I can understand it, like using it as like, a sniper rifle, like really souping it up and using it as a sniper rifle, but not as a regular gun. What's wrong with you? That being said, I use I, I have used it <laughs> in a pinch when I've like run out of any other guns to use. But I suppose it's a good early game, laser rifle. Uh. Oh god. Ah the hell? I just spawned here, for God's sakes. Ooh. Nasty. Oh, come on! I hate Boston. Getting attacked by dogs, ghouls, and now raiders have joined in. Oh, 
All right, please tell me that was it. All right, there's more guys upstairs. If I'm quick, I won't have to fight them. Someone's coming. Hey, looking for something? Uh huh. You can hold some of the leather stuff. Cheers, Nick. Alright, let's go. Alright, that's good neighbor. Just need to get around. If it's... Ah, uh, come on. Can't get around from this side, so I have to go around, around, around. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to fight you. Just want to get past. I come in peace. Relative peace. Cool. Yeah. Took me a while the first time around to actually find this place. Like, I did not know. I thought it would be more like... That it's more prominent. Whereas, if you don't go around that or that way specifically, you can't see anything. Okay, I'm getting that minigun. I'm kitting out my minigun to look like this. Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? What's it to you? Gotta know who's backing who and good neighbor. I ain't never seen you before. Maybe you're in the market for a little insurance? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Nick, Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Well, that was... nice. Hey, <laughs> what a way to enter town, huh? Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Who... what are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh, of course you are. It's just... all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Was that a pickup line? I've heard better. Now, are you buying anything? Let's sure. see what you have. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. That's some good 
advice. Uh, boxing glove. <laughs> Don't want to buy a boxing glove. Uh, hair trigger. Uh, uh, just a bunch of random shite. Party starter. Sighted, excited. Wait, what? Sighted, excited laser rifle. The sighted laser pistol. Army helmet. That might come in handy, actually. How much is it? 50. Devastator chest piece. 21,000, man. Uh, mining helmet, mining helmet pocketed. Spike armor. Uh. Copper, lead, oil, ballistic fiber. Um, hmm. Alright, not much I need at the moment. But hey. uh, keep it in mind. Alright, let's go to the memory then. Brotherhood of Steel, better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Huh? Hi. Looks like we got another freak, just won't fit anywhere else. Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time. But a flying ship, yeah, how's it? So, from what I can gather, good neighbor is mainly for ghouls. Like, out of all the people I've come across, the only human I seem to recall seeing got stabbed by a ghoul. And then everyone else I've seen has just been a ghoul. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about little me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Ooh. Amari. She's downstairs. Okay, I can't talk to her. No man. I was like, who are you? Doctor Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. You're the one who can extract memories from a brain. Right? Normally, we only allow our clients to experience their own memories. Now, what's this all about? We need a deep dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? How much of the brain do you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I wonder what she's going to make of what I have. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We are talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. 
You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go in there. Um, yeah, I get the feeling things are going to get a bit loud in my house at, uh, for the next few minutes. So I'm going to have to call this episode to an end. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot. So until next time, you take care. Oh, and also, if you could leave a like and hit the comment section below, it would help a great deal. And in the next episode, I'll carry on straight from where I left off. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.